Adam, it's time for the social. Adam. 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 Sorry, I was sleeping. Hi, welcome to the show. After spending the first half of the week talking to expert climbers, we thought we'd grab a word with one who doesn't know his backside from his elbow. Take it away, Adam. Thanks, Charlie. This week in climbing, Joe Kinder welcomed in our new robot overlords as he endorsed the use of mechanical spotters. I need your clothes, your boots, and your motorcycle. And Alex Megos made a strong bid to be crowned climbing's king of cool. Damn, it feels good to be a gangster. Before being swiftly dethroned by this kid. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Unusually this week, much of social media was dominated by pictures of people climbing trees rather than rocks. I'm a lumberjack and I'm okay. I sleep all night, I work all day. Before you rush to characterise this activity as lame, however, we should point out that Chris Sharma got involved. This was kind of an opportunity to connect my climbing career back to where I'm from and Put a little twist on climbing. And thanks to his involvement, the activity is now officially classified as radical. Excellent! From something undeniably silly to something a little more serious, and the arrest in Malaysia of four tourists who pose naked for photos on the summit of Mount Kinabalu. Right, stop that! Silly! Shortly after the photos emerged, suggestions were made in Malaysia that the tourist actions had led to the subsequent earthquake in the region leading to some extremely helpful headlines in some British newspapers. Oh, that's not right. The event also led to this rather unhelpful article from Doug Saunders, who questioned not the morality of a topless summit, but the morality of a summit at all. Wrong, 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 wrong. This triggered some pretty angry responses from the rest of the climbing community. Douche, douche, douche. Saunders does appear to be somewhat off the mark, but there is a nugget of a good idea in there, that just because you want to do something, doesn't mean you should be allowed to something they probably should have said to the naked selfie tourists. Oh dear, oh dear. Of course, if you absolutely have to take a naked mountain selfie, you could always go somewhere like the Alps, where people are fine with that. Anyway, enough of that. It's time for this week's Pucho Power Award, and our runner-up is Max O'Hagan with this. But this week's winner is Alex Puccio, who despite her crutches, is already back in the gym. Power to the pooch. Remember to keep hashtagging your training photos and videos, Puccio Power. We'll see you next week on The Social. That's it from us today. Join us tomorrow when we will be speaking to Katie Whitaker and Mina Leslie Wajastic. We'll see you then. <laughs>